What's up guys, hope you're all doing great. Welcome to another very exciting Premiere Pro tutorial. In this video, we're gonna look at how we can overlay content using the mask feature in Premiere and create a custom transition like the one that you saw earlier. So I have these two clips on my timeline and the first one is me walking towards my door and opening it and then the second one is this creepy stock footage. Now I have already graded my video so let me show you the original one by turning the Lumetri effect off. So this is the original one and then I did some corrections, some grading and now this is the version that we are going to be using for this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is to see at what point in my timeline I want to transition into the other video. Now guys, everyone has their own way or style of working. So I normally prefer to make a cut at the point where I want the transition to start taking place. Now you don't have to do that, but I just find it easier this way. So I mean, yeah, it's, it's really up to you what you find easy. Now I think this is the perfect moment, which is why I've already made a cut at this point. So I'm going to move this clip to the upper track now and we'll bring the other one under here at this point. And now I'm going to start masking it out. Now to do that, I'm going to go in my effect controls tab and we'll select this polygon mask from the opacity. And now I can start drawing my mask to cover this gap. So first thing I'm going to do is go to 100% and now I can start drawing this mask. Uh, I'm going to do the top bit first. So let me just do this for now. Yeah, cool. Okay. And I'm going to go to the bottom one and we'll drag these corners, which is pretty easy. Uh, okay, I think this looks fine. For now, we will have to adjust this once again. Uh, okay, I think this looks okay now. Cool, okay, so right now we are masking everything out except this door gap. So to make this the other way around, I'm just gonna go back in my effect controls tab and I'm gonna take this box that says inverted and now you can see that the mask will apply only to this area. So I think we will have to kind of adjust our mask a little bit yeah so over here we have this gap cool and then we've got this gap over here as well so we just have to make sure that the mask is clean and as accurate as it can be okay cool so now our mask looks fine so guys one thing to remember is that motion tracking in premiere is not as good as in after effects so we will have to create keyframes and adjust this mask on every frame i mean so the most important thing here is that the more accurate your mask will be the cleaner your transition will be so i'm going to create my first keyframe here at this point and because we have to do this on a frame by frame basis so now that I've set my mask, I'm gonna move a frame forward and will adjust my mask accordingly. So uh, let's do that. So yeah, we've got, we need to kind of drag this towards the left. And yeah, again, some over here as well. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to move a frame forward once again. And now you can see that we have to kind of adjust the mask once again. And guys, this is exactly what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this clip. So I'm going to speed this up now because it is definitely going to take me a while adjusting the mask on every frame. So I'm going to see you guys in a bit now. Okay, so now that I have set my mask completely, you can see that the transition is already happening, but the edges are too sharp around my mask. So I'm gonna increase the mask feathering. Uh, I can do that just by going into my effect controls tab and using this option over here that says mask feather. 
So I'm gonna increase it to let's say 30. Yeah, and it looks fine. So guys, mask feathering reduces the sharp edges around your mask and it kind of blends in with the underlying clip. So I mean, that's how you can kind of get rid of those sharp edges around your mask. So now the only other thing I'm gonna do is to add some sound effects to make it look real. So I'm gonna go in my project panel and I have these three sound effects already here. So I'm gonna bring the first one down to my timeline and we'll set here at this point. And now I'm gonna go back to my project panel to bring the other ones as well. So yeah, so this one I'm gonna set at this point. And now the third one as well, just to make it look more real. So yeah, over here. Cool, okay, so we've got our mask, we've got our sound effects. Let's see what we've done here. Cool, I think this looks awesome now. So guys, this is how you can create custom transitions. And I mean, you can apply mask to a lot of things and you can do some really cool stuff like replacing this guy, isolating an object, or I mean, you can even try the same transition that we did in a lot of different ways. So just keep practicing and it may take you guys a little while to get used to it. But once you get your head around this, you are absolutely gonna love this thing. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. I hope you liked this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I'm now gonna see you in the next video. So till then, you take care of yourself.